we got a lot of rides happening around ladies and gentlemen we got spider-man 2 trailer in the news we also are hearing about call of duty we got news for the sony ponies for the playstation nation for the xbox the xbox out there and we got tons to talk about so let's just get right into it drop a like if you love your mama don't chase a pom-pom chase your dreams okay and coming in out of our number 14 spot our first story is actually pretty good european parliament is now voting to crack down on loot boxes and gold farming first of all i gotta say man i gotta clap up for this one we need this to happen here in america drop a thumbs up if you agree but coming in at our number 13 spot this will get you mad Thank you for bit. you're entertaining but just sitting and reading chat's boring play a game or react i hope that you get ran over what i in a in a game of course like you know the warthogs and halo like dude shut the f up like i'm tired i'm tired of you ugly chatters like i'm actually annoyed play a game do i look like a b that plays a game you got me f up just shut up <laughs> like chatters that i thought were not mentally retarded but look at them be full mentally retarded Okay, can I just say one thing? If you're a man and you use the frowny crying face, you're gay. Like, I've always felt like that. Like, men aren't supposed to really feel, like, sad. Like, back in the war days, you used to have to kill people. Why the f*** are you sad? Like, I'm the emotional one. Why the f*** are you crying? Shut your s*** this is what happens when the west pushes down the agenda women are becoming more masculine and men are becoming more feminine ladies and gentlemen you know for the fact that if a man did that his ass would have been thrown in another dimension and you don't you don't believe me right you don't believe me let me show you this okay k Sennett, one of the twitch most sub creators has been banned on the platform after eating edibles and passing out on stream we got a video where his battery runs out and uh, he was he was doing those puff puffs obviously i cannot show you the, the the puff puffs video but i'll be able to show you this video roll it no i don't know what that greenhouse means but i'm not do i'm not i'm not okay i'm not doing that okay shut your dumb ass up google network what the f wrong with you google network less than five milligrams what did you talk about three hours later <laughs> this is insane y'all this is why they banned him and sent him in another dimension okay now listen i'm not saying that he should be like doing those puff puffs i'm not saying that he should be growing nesquik in the backyard and bringing that nesquik over in his apartment in his uh, area and stream that while he's uh, getting those puff puffs and i mean damn i i'm not saying that but like he didn't even do anything too controversial we have this strong independent female uh, showing gameplay and saying some of the craziest stuff out there she's apparently family friendly but this man who just casually pass out like that he is menace to society he's problematic he's toxic we, we just cannot have that right i mean get my mom okay but this was funny as hell bro like you gotta agree <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. However, Sony reportedly told European Union regulators that Microsoft is not willing to offer feature parity for Call of Duty for all platforms if they acquire Activision, according to a Microsoft spokesperson. Ladies and gentlemen, it is heating up. Recently, the FTC kind of book a kill. They have been saying that, bro, we're going to be canceling the deal, okay? We're going to go in. We're going to be canceling the deal. They have been, like, going so hard for so long, for a year straight. Now, they finally have engaged and they got their schlongs and well they have sued them and we're kind of waiting for that we're waiting for the responses maybe this deal will go through maybe not xbox phil spencer says that he is confident that it will go through and now they are saying that sony is capping like they, they, they're, they're just capping because frank came out and frank shaw he is apparently the lead communication for microsoft owner for a fine sorry u.s marine he him he came out and he says that our goal is to bring call of duty and other games as we did with micro minecraft to more people around the world so they can play with them where and how they want so he just went over that he says that sony is the console market leader he says that i hear sony is briefing people in brussels claiming microsoft is unwilling to offer them parity for call of duty basically saying that bro it's cap and Bruh. here he confirms nothing could be further from the truth in other words uh, you know how the kids would say nowadays like cap capping equal lying and right now there's a whole lot of sussness built up around the streets uh, the sony ponies are looking like this the bots are looking like this 
this everybody wanna know like if xbox is gonna be getting call of duty is call of duty gonna go exclusive on xbox is it gonna stay on playstation is it gonna stay on all the platforms nobody knows ladies and gentlemen we're gonna find out in the coming days though. also shout out to the homie ali for adding me in the situation because we're hearing that far cry 7 and far cry multiplayer games are reportedly in the works the games may be set in the alaskan wilderness we're hearing that ubicaps ubi snows is working on the game recently the ubisoft guild mo he went ahead and he started saying that ubisoft we, we got to work out and we got to release the games faster and he has been pressuring in english uh, pressuring his staff to put out games faster and uh, apparently it looks like that they are working on far cry 7 the series is pretty much the same ever since the third game hope they do something new uh, i'll be getting the new far cry like i do every time Bring back far cry 4 gameplay mechanics and by the looks of it a lot of people are shaking people are doing helicopters around and it's kind of good to see because we as gamers we barely get anything right so finally okay 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 finally something but xbox confirms they are returning to los angeles in june for their annual big showcase event bethesda game studios has also got starfield standalone show in the works and it looks like that we're gonna be having this around or maybe at e3 because e3 has confirmed that it's gonna be happening as well in june this year last year they decided the same but they kind of canceled it but this year it seems more likely than ever that it's gonna happen and maybe xbox is gonna be doing their standalone showcase outside of e3 or maybe they're gonna be doing it at e3 i hope they do it at e3 because otherwise e3 is just it's gonna be a snooze fest because playstation they do it outside of e3 i believe even nintendo does it outside of e3 and if xbox starts to do the same it's gonna be bad and also uh shout out to the homie ellie for adding me in this situation and this following story might be a little bit groundbreaking viewers discretion is advice if you're standing up you might want to sit down fast on your seat belts look both ways before crossing the street because neil Druckmann officially confirms that the uncharted series will not return wait what <gasps> apparently the last was part three is very likely Dial, okay, dial! You're telling me that we're not gonna be getting Uncharted! You're telling me that we're gonna be getting Abby the Brock Lesnar Part 3? And apparently a lot of people said that I'm okay with that if they bring the first three games to PC as well. Only lol! Only four being is there is a NL. Oh, wow. Oh, dang yo, man. That's an L. <laughs> and quickly after, the Abby fans started doing helicopters with their release. They started shaking and they started saying that, bro, like, we gonna be getting the last of us three. And I mean, damn, man. On the other side, we got the Uncharted fans actually looking like this. They went to coma. Deadass, okay? Deadass. They went to coma. And a lot of people are believing that we're never gonna be getting Uncharted. But here's the thing, okay? Let me actually bring you back. Because for the longest amount of time, in fact, for a couple years now, we have been here hearing that a brand new Uncharted game is in development and the rumors have data said that it's not Naughty Dog's working on it it's apparently another studio Sony has uh, given the project to another studio but however Naughty Dog is gonna be assisting they're gonna be supervising and they're gonna be teaching them bro that's wrong you know you have not made that chick strong independent so they're gonna supervise and they're gonna make sure that the chick is masculine they're gonna make sure that she got like purple hair basically they're gonna be IG ending fine the the situation they are gonna ig ending uh find the, the uncharted game but listen there are a lot of rumors going around but officially it has been cleared that neil Druckmann and naughty dog is not working on the next uncharted game at least for now maybe they're gonna work in the future maybe the rumor that we heard that another studio is working on uncharted maybe that's true maybe that's fake we're gonna find out very soon but i'm a firm believer that eventually uncharted 5 will happen it's just way big of a franchise they recently came out with the movie they have been porting the game or on PC, it's a massive franchise. Like, let's keep a buck fifty. Tomb Raider TV show reportedly being made by Amazon. Again, shout out to the homie for adding me in this situation. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, bro, please, for the love of everything, for the love of God's green earth, do not nerf her feminine abilities, okay? Do not make her masculine, do not give her purple hair. I mean, knowing those motherfuckers out there, they're, they're, they're gonna give her purple hairs, okay? But speaking of purple hair, ladies and gentlemen, you wanna know what the review score is? I mean, come on, right? You I don't know that right because previously we did hear that the official reviews the pit reviews the shield reviews the the real reviews uh, they have been giving it like 70 uh it was sitting and right now it's sitting at 66 but previously it was sitting at like 68 70 and it was a pretty good score even now 66 is a pretty good score but however the expert reviews came in and it is sitting at 3.6 ladies and gentlemen 
this mess of a game, one boring NPC is cringe writing for dialogue, antagonist is absolutely unlikable, hates everyone and everything. We got twos thrown around, five, that's average, we got threes, fours, twos, zero, zero, zero. <laughs> and markers are throwing zeros, dead ass, okay, and surely the Japanese homies are actually laughing, they're loving this game, apparently that's what we heard, I'm not sure about the current situation, but previously we did hear that in Japan, Forspoken was the highest pre-order game, I'm not sure about this anymore, okay, but controversy, okay, but also in the news, PlayStation Plus Premium, new trials, we're getting F1 Manager and Marvel Midnight Suns Enhanced Edition for two hours, I mean, damn, bro, like, bro, What's two hours gonna do? What's three hours gonna do? That's gonna barely do anything, okay? Can a brother perhaps get it for like three years, for four years? Special like button if you agree. Apparently Hogwarts Legacy has a total of 46 trophies and there are no difficulty related trophies. That's pretty good, you know, because now you can finally play as a journalist. You can play this game at journalist difficulty and you do not have to worry about it. In fact, I'm gonna be playing a journalist difficulty. I'm gonna be live streaming on the February 6th, so definitely hit the subscribe Bell, I got you, Kaji. Also, the actress Annie, who played Tess in The Last of Us, she sadly passed away from cancer at age 45. So, RIP to her. And that's definitely sad, right? A lot of people are passing way too early. And seriously, it's gonna sound corny, but uh, tell your loved ones that you love them because you might not get the chance tomorrow, okay? But let's not end the video on a sad note because uh, apparently, live from PlayStation 5, a Spider Man sighting seems to have occurred in Manhattan in a brand new live action promo. Apparently, on ESPN in Australia, they have showcased this promo trailer for Spider-Man 2. Roll it. This is live from PS5. The good people of Manhattan hope that's a gift from their favorite hero as he delivered a gang of criminals on something of a web platform. This was live from PS5. And this promo confirms that Spider-Man 2 is gonna be releasing in spring of 2023. <gasps> And right after that, a lot of people started shaking, people started doing helicopters, thinking that this game is gonna be coming out in March, May, or April, but that's not the case, because however, we are talking about Australia. Apparently, spring in Australia starts in the months of September, October, and November. Bruh. They really had us in the second half, Kaji. But Activision just confirmed some of the wildest stuff out there, okay? Click on this video on the screen. Some of the angriest video I've ever made. Click on this video, or click the video on the left, because IGN 2 out of 10 review for Hogwarts Legacy just dropped. Click on that and I'll see you right there.